Yes, please. Wait for the microphone. You claim that um, the, the role played by literature in your life was paramount. Can you clarify why and how this happened? Why literature is so important in my life? Well, I suppose it happened to me because I was an only son. I had no brothers, I had no sisters, and very few friends. And my best friends were the books. Throughout my childhood, I remember myself lying on the carpet on my stomach, my head between my hands like this, and reading a book on the carpet in front of me. This was the position of my childhood. Other kids were playing thieves and robbers, playing war games, or playing astronauts. I was a reading kid. And out of my lonely childhood came the love of literature. Books became my world. Books became my friends, my family, my everything. I remember very well my parents used to take me to cafe in town. And they promised me that if I be quiet and shut my, my mouth and don't disturb them when they talk to their friends, I will get ice cream in the end. And in Jerusalem, the city where I was born, ice cream was very rare in those years. It was not a common thing. So I kept my mouth shut because I wanted the ice cream. And they talked to their friends for 77 hours, non-stop. Very long conversations. Now I had to do something in order not to get crazy. And I remember that I used to look at the people in the cafe and invent little stories about those people in the cafe. This couple sitting by that table, whispering to each other, what are they talking about? Are they lovers? Or are they a brother and a sister? Or maybe they are just business partners? I would invent their conversation. I became a little spy. I looked at their clothes, I looked at their appearance, I looked at their haircut, and I tried to guess their life. This is how I became a writer, really. By spying on strangers in cafes and inventing their lives, inventing their stories, using everything, the way they dressed, the body language, the expression, the atmosphere around them. I will give you a very good advice, not how to become writers, just how to become better human beings. Look at people. When you have to wait some time in the clinic for the dentist, or you have to wait some time at the railway station, or you have to wait some time any place at all where there are other people, look at people and try to imagine their lives. Try to imagine who they are. Try to read them as if they were books, because people are like books. If you know the language, you can read them. You can find out who they are and why and what brought them into the present position in their lives. As I said earlier today, and I will say this again, imagining other people will make you better people. Imagining other people will make your life much richer. Imagining other people will even make you better lovers when the time comes for that. And imagining other people may even buy you some ice cream in the end. So always imagine the other.